my topic, your topmost possibilities, which would be my topmost possibilities. See, we're all the same and we're also all each different. I don't know that when people say, oh, well, no two snowflakes are the same, well, that's ridiculous because there's nobody counting all of them that have ever fallen, that are falling, even in one little area. It's the snowflake cookie cutter machine is working. And they got a X different styles. And then they could have it change from place to place. But here is the key. We are each an authentic, you might say God. And what does that mean? To me, it always meant all these divine powers, qualities, and abilities. And in the West, we were taught that, what may I say, there was an antichrist and a Christ. There was a, a good God and then a, and a bad God, uh, like this, like a duality God. And they were equal, and one fighting against the other. Well, those are stories, and that's a duality story, a dual, D-U-E-L, which is two, duo, which is also fighting. And when we stop fighting is when we bring the two together, realizing that in this duality, duality there is always a light and a dark, a right and a wrong, a, a good and a bad that goes along with it cold and heat and it's it's like the two uh, posts on a battery there's a positive and a negative and you have to have both in order for the battery to operate and so we're then in a sense that energy battery the ever ready energy bunny battery because our nature is activity and eternity that's part of our nature and this is what I found and I started, then I got into the Vedic teaching and the Puranas, especially in the Vedas, that the teaching of really source is actually um, male and female as one and two at the same time. <clears throat> and it can be beyond that, but at our level of understanding and that they're loving and they're lovers and that all is love in the divine and play. And our, when you really look at our nature, we like to play. And the, and the thing is, many people get caught playing these games that are virtual reality games. And therefore, that person is taking all of their divine creative power and focusing in on someone else's creation <clears throat> and making their creations their God, their source of pleasure. So what happens then the topmost possibilities would be for you to use from all of us say okay desire desire that means also to not create is to you don't sire it anymore so all of the words it's almost like when we have the beliefs that go with all of these words that are being manifest created you see through the language our intention the meanings that we've given things and that's why there's always this push for a one world consciousness belief system focus and all of that so that those who would like ought, want to be the masters then then those who want to be the slaves the slaves then just agree with and follow that second mind as Shmuel Asher says in his book the land of meat and honey, and I highly recommend that, the land of meat and honey. And it absolutely fills in the pieces and uh, of the puzzle that for me, everything went, oh yes, click, right there. And so you want your topmost possibilities, and when people say, oh yes, I, I have the freedom, I want to create my own reality, but what are you going to create from? And if you're creating from your mind, your memory, the imagination and that sort of thing that's been programmed in there so you're not really being an original it's also being a re repetitor and that means continuing to recreate that which has been created that we then keep recreating because creation is our nature we don't destroy 
And actually what destruction is, is a creation when you start, that's why all the movies have explosions, blowing up fires, noise and all of that, for then the people to get that creation. So then actually people are creating then destruction. So it's not destruction, it's a creation. So, the, then your top most possibilities, at least for me, is to use the desire for the one desire that would give me everything. To give me the all, not everything. Everything, thing, remember, are matter, major. It's the, 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 the outer. In the divine, spirit and, and mater, or mother, are together as lovers in the divine creation, our true spiritual divine home where all are self-luminous, all beings. And we each have our own light. And when people say, you know, going to the light in the tunnel, that when you leave your body, you better know what you're up to and learn now and know what to expect and know what to do because no one's looking out for you but you. And yes, we have help, but we have to be able to know who we're asking help from. And that would be your own inner guide, which is actually you acknowledging your source and opening yourself to that which has always been available, always. So when, when we do that, then, uh, and then we ask within, the one desire would be to desire, to know, and to be who you are, as you are, what you are, what, the, what that means, and all the different aspects of what, what you are, to be, to be conscious of that, to be realizing that, to be activating that, to be living in perfect harmony with our true divine nature, which means our source, our God, our divine, not a psychopathic God out there who wants blood sacrifices, that was never in the Vedas, the, the Vedic teaching. Always, 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 always. Your, your gifts were flowers or prepared fruits, you see. And what you're really doing was acknowledging always the beloved. So that when you, you'd be cooking for the beloved and, and you'd be cleaning house for the beloved as a temple, whatever you're doing, because that's how we do it now, is your topmost potential and, and is to be fully activated, fully aware and conscious and being who, who you really are. Without these, this covering of these layers of ignorance. And so in, in, in studying in, then in the, in the Vedas or the Puranas, uh, the beauty of the divine feminine and masculine as lovers and so what, what what that even expands in that they were playing and they have friends and it's a it's a relationship and people say i want someone to really my real topmost is other people know me and see me and i'm the center of their attention that's what about me what See, when you're who you are, you don't need that. You do what you do because that's what you know you need to do because it's your inner knowing, your inner calling, not the still small voice. You don't need a voice. It's how you know the difference between their terror machine and who you are, the bliss machine. And not just bliss love in all of its qualities and experiences and, and beauty because our nature is a soul and as our nature as a soul we are feeling beings and when the feelings are distorted they become negative emotions that are destructive and and that comes from our thinking our potential our reality is maybe having that which all of those people of the world that we think have made it and are successful have. I mean, I'll tell you, I've been there. It's yucky, 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 fake. When you get a taste of the real 
and you get a taste of who you are and that's who you are fully and completely you have no fear and you do not worry you always have what you need and you're living that spiritual divine life from who you really are and you have to know what may I say your topmost potential is beyond anything you've ever learned here and yet there are those teachings that have helped us printed word or however it's been always leading us to merging more and more and more deeply into the divine and actually giving ourselves permission not to do anything if we don't want to if it doesn't feel right to be able to rest if you need to rest to be able to play that's who you are it means that you're not waiting for something to happen out here before you can feel good. And I'll tell you, there's so much guilt that we have because of going against the basic law. No killing. Thou shalt not kill. And we say, yes, but you had to do it. And after the flood, then God said, no, you could kill and eat everybody if you want. Yeah. What God are you listening to? And then look at the, the then there's the mess. Now, you don't have to live in a mess. Don't agree to it. You see? Don't agree to the stories. Don't agree to the beliefs of what, what's possible for you. So easily, I, I was talking to a neighbor and said something about somebody had some physical problem and finally the doctors told him, well, it's impossible, we can't fix that, it's over. I said, really? Why would he listen to that and then stop the healing? Oh, because the experts said, oh, really? You have to be the expert in your life. And how is that? The topmost desire of possible is for us to be, for me, in that continual state of consciousness, awareness of my unity with my source, my partner, my beloved, who is your source, your beloved, and therefore you and in my own individuality and in all my experiences I've ever had even being in the light I still was conscious of myself it was of me being you do not lose your identity and yet this is where we are now so use this now to be fully activated in every aspect of your being you say well how do I do this start talking to your own self mm -hmm. the self of every self the soul of every soul and we go beyond just masculine or just feminine feminine and masculine these are these qualities of of that that's not actually the body it's the nature or the qualities of the giving and the receiving that manifests in duality but we go beyond giving and receiving where there is no difference between the giver and the receiver yet both are who they are but you see the love is so complete that's it's an eternal experience ever increasing of the divine that you are yeah that's the topmost. Desire that, and then everything else comes into play in perfect harmony. Mm -hmm.